Hey, hello everyone. Uh, it's Monday. Hope everyone's got a great start to the week. This is Richard with Richard Runs Trails. Um, today doing a challenge uh, put out by a holding name required uh, channel. It's a, a friend of mine in the UK. He's training to run his first uh, ultra marathon and he's put out the hashtag my run challenge which has five questions for uh, runners to answer. Uh, I think it's a pretty neat challenge, so uh, let's get started. So, first question, why do you run? Um, I run because it's my hobby. Sounds like a very simple answer, but I don't run because I'm inspired by anyone or I'm trying to lose weight or coming off a bad habit. I know a lot of people out there do that and I have respect for them. But um, I got started in college. I was involved in boxing. My fraternity put on a lot of boxing tournaments. Um, so I got involved in boxing and I wasn't very good at boxing, but one thing we always did was run. You know, we were, I guess we were kind of inspired by the Rocky movie. So we did a lot of running. Uh, I was never very good at boxing, but running uh, stayed with me. And um, I've been doing it ever since. And that was the late 80s. Um, early 90s I started to do some racing uh, second question is what kind of running advice would you give to another runner um, my main advice would be to do it to motivate yourself and to compete against yourself um, I look at running and also racing racing is for me a celebration I race every month you know, some people, they race twice or two times, three times a year and have very long training blocks. I don't do that. I race every month, sometimes more than once a month. And uh, like the famous uh, ultra running marathon um, coach, David Roach, always says, race is a celebration to celebrate your training. And I look at it that way. I'm not competing against anyone. I'm competing against myself. In an ultra marathon... My focus is 100K and longer, so 62 miles and longer. Most of my races are 100K and I've got quite a few hundred miles a year. Um, this year I have three or four, I think. Next year probably be about the same. And eventually I like to get into 200 miles. But um, my goal is to go out there and have fun with friends and finish. Finishing, that's my goal. Because the races I do are very difficult. I mean, 100 miles are usually taking me 25, 26, even up to 29 hours. Um, so it's quite, I consider myself more of an adventure jogger these days. Um, so I think that's, I think that's very important. And technical running advice, I would say, um, increase your running only 10% a week. That, that's solid advice from any coach. I'm a coach also. I'm certified by RCA. Um, 10% a week. And really that's good for all sports. I, I, I kind of need to listen to myself in burpees. I was, I was accelerating too fast, but 10% a week, increase your running mileage. You won't get injured. Uh, third question, first running event. I thought about this for a while. I can't really me remember the name. I know it was in the late 80s, early 90s. I, I did a lot of 10Ks. I was also involved in, um, and this was in Dallas, Texas, near where I went to school. And uh, I was also involved in duathlon because I like cycling a lot too. And duathlon is where you run 5K, uh, you bike 20K, and then you run 5K. It was very popular back then. So I did a lot of those. Then I eventually got into marathons. I did over 20 marathons. And then got into ultra marathons, which I've done close to 40 now. And uh, I do 12 per year now at least. Um, Number f the fourth question is what's your most ambitious goal, which is achievable? Um, I actually have a couple of these if I want to my m biggest goal is to race uh, ultra trail ultra trail Mont Blanc Which is UTMB. It's the biggest race ultra race in the world. It starts in uh, Chamonix France and goes through Italy and through Switzerland and back into France it's like um, 165 kilometers, 100 miles. It's basically a little bit more than 100 miles, but it's through Mont Blanc, so there's a lot of elevation. It's a really well done race. Video cameras everywhere throughout the race. It's just hard to explain in a few words. 
I've qualified for it. And uh, because of the pandemic and traveling is so challenging, I probably won't do it until uh, 2024. And in the US, the Western States 100, I've qualified it many years. I've been in the lottery for three years. Um, there's like 5,000 people apply, only 300 get in because of the Forest Service that's in California. That's kind of the Super Bowl of 100s. So I'm in the lottery again for next year, which will be my third, yeah, third year, maybe fourth year, I need to check. Anyways, I wanna do Western States 100. That's, that's kind of like the Super Bowl of 100 milers. And uh, fifth question, dream running event. Well, I have a lot of those. Um, I would say my dream running event is the Moab 240. That's 240 miles, which is like over 400 kilometers through Moab Desert, near the desert in Moab, uh, Utah. I really want to get into 200 milers. You're probably thinking, well, that's crazy, but actually 200 milers are easier than 100 milers. Why? Because in 100 milers, you only get 30 hours. And um, I've done, I have very few DNFs in my, my ultra racing, but the ones I do have are usually 100 milers. I think I've attempted eight and I finished four. And the reason 100 milers is so difficult is because you get 30 hours and I'm finishing 26, 27, 28, and that's no messing around. That's not, I mean, that's pushing the whole time. But in 200 milers, you get like four days, so you can actually even take a sleep break. So, so in a way, 200 milers are actually easier. Just I don't think my body's ready for 200 miles yet, even with a sleep break. So um, I plan to do Moab 240 um, maybe in 2000, maybe 2023 or 24. But that's a definitely, it's, it's an incredible race. It's put on by um, Destination Trails. I just wanted, I wanna do that one. And that's, that's, that's the five questions. I highly suggest you check out um, uh, holding name required um, this channel. I'll put his link in uh, my description. He's a young ultra, uh, future ultra runner. He's doing his first ultra and he's kind of documenting as he goes. I think it's a great idea. And this challenge is great, my run. And uh, also check out my new uh, Trail Sage uh, trucking hat, tr uh, trucker hat. I think it's great, great quality. Uh, Trail Sage is a friend of mine. He's got a channel, specializes in mountain biking and also trail running. And he does a really good job editing and uh, it's a real nice channel. Check it out. I'll put a link in my description. But I uh, hope everybody has a great week. Enjoy your training. Take care.